Hey there, everybody. We have finished talking with future Luke, and now we're just going to leave the casino and go back to the street. Unfortunately, as soon as Leighton tries to leave... Oh, there you are, boss! Somebody mistakes him for the evil future Leighton. Oi! Oh. What are you doing wearing the boss's get-up? It's your idea of a joke! No, no, not at all. Come to think of it, I don't think I've seen any of you round here before. Yes, well, we don't often get a chance to visit this fine establishment of yours. Don't know about that, but I'm gonna need you to come with me for some questioning. This way, you three. <laughs> Professor, run away while you can. Oh, oh, wow, oh man, the man with the crazy accent just slapped future Luke. Oh no! Uh, quickly, you two, this way. Don't let him escape! Don't, Don't let, let him escape! escape. Wait, what? Apparently, Future Layton employs people with bad accents and people who look exactly the same as each other. Uh, you're surrounded, Professor! Calm yourself, Luke. I have a plan. Wait! Where are you going? <laughs> Calm down, Luke. He has a plan. Do you see a way out of this? I do, but I'll need your help. The professor's plan is puzzle number 28, slot machine gun. Which sounds really, really dangerous. Alright, so this is a slider puzzle. And I think this piece goes over here, because it's a convenient fit. And it's a gun, right? Because the pointy end of the gun goes out, and the trigger is here on the right, because that's going to be the trigger. And this is going to be where you put in the things. You guys will see in the cutscene that follows. It's a rather unique shaped gun. This doesn't work. What if I turn this like this? Yeah, this will work. Okay, there's your solution. I think. Is something wrong? Apparently something's wrong. One of the pieces must be overlapping. There we Let's go. See if I've got this okay, right. that's the solution. Just as I suspected. Yes, that's right. Layton's gun shoots out coins. So the men with bad accents run away, because they hate money. I say, that was a close one. We get them a taste of their own medicine. Funny, I don't remember you helping. Look, you're me, for that me. I put some credit for a system. Oh, is that so? That's very interesting logic. 
that is interesting. Because Luke was just hiding in the background the whole time. Like a total loser. Ooh, and I think this is the end of Chapter 2. Alright, let's save our game and start Chapter Number 3. Chapter 3, The Enigmatic Future. I suppose you could call him Dude Man or something. I don't know, we could come up with a really good nickname for future Luke. Well, Big Luke and Little Luke work, but come on. Let's give him a nickname like Mr. Awesome or something. Wait, you're going away? Yeah, we went to the restaurant. Okay, so we have to go back to the restaurant. And I'm guessing that along the way we are going to solve a lot of puzzles. Let me see, I'm guessing we can't go back inside the casino. All right, let's go backwards. Footprints? Oh my goodness. Alrighty, that was sort of weird. Um, let's keep going. Hey, lady with the big nose, do you have a puzzle? No puzzle from the lady with the big nose. Yes, a time machine could be used for good. However, evil Professor Layton is probably going to use it for evil. Remember her? Puzzle number 29, our dream house. We have an empty lot filled with stakes. Okay, what am I trying to do here? Stretch ropes between the stakes so that a four-person family can have four identically shaped rooms. Okay, everybody, it turns out the reason I'm having trouble understanding this puzzle is because it's strangely worded, because they're trying to trick you. The trick is that you want to create four shapes which are identical, but not identical in size. That's the trick. Here's my answer. So that's the solution? I knew it! 
That's what it looks like when you divide up the land into four identical shapes. Looks like Luke still hasn't warmed up to his stalker. <laughs> <laughs> 